Have you ever heard about the curse of Tutankhamun, the boy king of Egypt? In the year 1922, a momentous discovery was made that would forever leave a mark on Egyptology. The British archaeologist Howard Carter, along with his patron Lord Carnarvon, stumbled upon the untouched burial chamber of Tutankhamun, the boy king of Egypt. This finding was nothing short of a miracle, as it was the most intact pharaoh's tomb ever discovered, having remained undisturbed for over 3,000 years. Inside, they found an array of treasures that left the world in awe. Among these was the iconic golden death mask of King Tut, a symbol of his divine authority that would become one of the most recognized artifacts of ancient Egypt. This moment of triumph was celebrated worldwide, shining a new light on the richness of ancient Egyptian civilization. But little did the discoverers know their moment of triumph would soon be shadowed by a series of unfortunate events. As the tomb opened, so did the whispers of a curse. The first to experience the curse's dire consequences was Lord Carnarvon, the financial backer of the expedition. A mere four months after the tomb's discovery, Carnarvon succumbed to complications from an infected mosquito bite. His sudden and unexpected death sent shockwaves around the world, fueling the fire of the curse's legend. But the curse didn't stop there. It seemed to have a particular vendetta against those closest to the discovery. Howard Carter, the man who found the tomb, lost his beloved pet canary shortly after the tomb's opening. The bird, a symbol of joy and life, was said to have been killed by a cobra, a creature deeply associated with the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. These incidents, along with others, paint a chilling picture of a curse unleashed, a testament to a pharaoh's wrath from beyond the grave. Coincidence or curse, you decide. What if I told you science may have an explanation for the so-called curse? Now, let's delve into what may truly lie behind the legend of Tutankhamun's curse. Scientists suggest that the illnesses that befell those associated with the tomb's opening might not have been supernatural in nature. Instead, they might have been caused by exposure to mold and bacteria. These microorganisms lying dormant for centuries in the sealed tomb could have caused severe respiratory issues and other illnesses to those unprepared for such exposure. Another fascinating theory deals with the power of belief. The human mind is a complex creature and the psychological influence of a supposed curse could have heightened feelings of anxiety and fear, leading to perceived misfortunes. So was it the wrath of a disturbed pharaoh, or just a series of unfortunate coincidences? The mystery of Tutankhamun's curse continues to intrigue us, even after a century.